Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes, and since today is October 12th, which is my birthday today, I'm going to do a movie review on one of my favorite movies from when I was a kid, and I usually do this almost every year, and I'm really excited. So today I'm going to review The Mask with Jim Carrey. So The Mask um, is about this man named Stanley Ipkiss who um, is down on his luck because he can't get anything, and so he finds this mask, and he puts it on his face, and he when he puts the mask on his face, he becomes this green crazy person who who gets every desire that he could want with this mask and it makes him a different person person like a much more confident person than a confident loser and he and then a non then a complete loser which he finds himself as so he uses the mask and he causes some crazy havoc in the film to start off, I love The Mask. This is one of my favorite movies. I literally love it. I used to watch it all the time when my mom supervised me as a kid. And this is mentioned in my top 10 films of my childhood. And if you didn't see that video, I will link it down below if you didn't see. And I think I mentioned this in my top 10 comedy movies as well, which I'll also link down below, as well as my top five Jim Carrey movies, which I'll also link down below if you didn't see. So I really enjoy this movie. It's so much fun. And it's just very entertaining, it's funny, and it's just really good in general, excuse me. Next I'm going to talk, oops, sorry about that, um, next I'm going to talk about the director. So this was directed by Chuck Russell, so Chuck Russell, I am not familiar with any of his work, but this movie, this is like the only Chuck Russell movie I've seen. If you guys have seen any other Chuck Russell movies, let me know what you think of them so I could check them out. So next I'm going to talk about, I thought he did a really good job on the film. I thought he did a good job on the editing and the um, way the movie was filmed. It was just really good in general. I really love all the creativity, like the cartoony humor he added in there, and it was pretty cool. Number, um, oh wait, why do I think of this as a top 10 video? I don't know why. Um, next I'm going to talk about the characters. I really like Stanley. I think he's a really good character. He's just a good guy who doesn't have a lot of confidence in himself and he um, literally thinks of himself as a loser but I love the fact that he when he gains this mask he gains more confidence in himself of being more um, standing up for himself and not letting people step all over him and I really like that about him and he's played by Jim Carrey and I have and I've seen Jim Carrey in so many movies that if I name this named all of them in this video it would take way too long so I'm not going to name any of the movies that I've seen him because I've seen him in so many that it's going to take forever for me to go through. I really just love the fact that he um, uses this mask to get with his desires but then he realizes he needs to be himself which I really like. Now, the next, um, ne next I'm going to talk about Tina Carlisle. I like Tina Carlisle. I like how she has a little bit of a crush on Stanley I Ipkiss, and I really like how this was, um, how she um, kind of flirts with him at first to trick him and to kind of use her flirtatious skills with him to um, scheme to get into the bank and everything, but then she kind of feel develops real feelings for him, despite the fact she's kind of like scheming the bat being part of the bad guys at first and I really love that um she kind of like um leaves the bad guy side and goes on the good guy side which I really like and she's played by Cameron Diaz and I love Cameron Diaz and I and this is also mentioned in my top five Cameron Diaz movies and if you want to see that video as well I'll link that down below if you didn't see so honestly um if I name I've seen Cameron Diaz in so many movies like I said if I named all the movies she was in as well that would take me so long to do this review and I'm not going to name them all well, and I I just really like her. I like how she kind of like starts off as a bad guy, but then gets on the good side. Next, I'm going to talk about Milo. Milo is um, Stanley's dog. I really like Milo. I think he's a really cute dog. I love the fact that he has a really close friendship with um, 
Stanley and he's very loyal to Stanley and he'll do anything he can to help Stanley and I really love that about Milo and he's just a really cute dog in general and he's a very smart dog like he knows how to find Milo's key I mean not Milo um he knows how to find Stanley's keys excuse me he knows how to find things that Stanley tells him to find that he needs and I really like that and he's just a cute dog Ogg and I just love his friendship with um Stanley Next, I'm going to talk about Charlie. Charlie is Stanley's best friend and co-worker. So I like Charlie. I think he's a very good guy. I like how, the fact that he always like tells Charlie, uh, tells Stanley, not Charlie, to stick up for himself. I love the fact that he's always by Stanley's side no matter what. And he's just a really good friend to Stanley, despite the fact Stanley has his ups and downs. And I really enjoy that about him. And he's played by Richard Jenny. And Richard Jenny, I've not seen in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Dorian Tyrell. Um, I don't like Dorian Tyrell. He's really creepy. He's very um, harmful, threatening, and I don't like the fact that he threatens everybody and then he uses Tina to get into the bank and everything. I just really don't like his bad schemes, and he's just a really bad person in this film. No. And he's played by Peter Green, and Peter Green I only recognize from the movie The Bounty Hunter, which I just recently watched a couple weeks ago. Next, I'm going to talk about Lieutenant Calloway. I like Lieutenant Calloway. I think he's a pretty good detective, despite the fact he's suspicious about Stanley. And um, I like the fact that he's good on his job. And I really like that he will do anything he can to just make sure the city is safe. And he's played by Peter R-I-E-G-E-R-T. I don't know how to say his last name. Let me know if you guys know how to say that. And I haven't seen him in anything else but this movie. Next, I'm going to talk about Detective Doyle. Detective Doyle is Calloway's assistant. I like Detective Doyle. I think he's really good. He's very helpful to Calloway, despite the fact he does some clumsy things. And he is a pretty funny um, character. Um, he's kind of like the side comedy character, and I really like that. And he's pretty funny. Funny, and he's one of those funny sidekicks, which I love, and I love the fact that he kind of messes up things for the police, and I love the fact that he still does a good job despite the fact he makes mistakes with the police. And he's played by Jim Dugan, and Jim Dugan I recognize from Stuart Little and Stuart Little 2, and he voices Lucky the Cat. Next, I'm going to talk about the setting. So this takes place in um, Edge City, which actually is filmed in Los Angeles. So I love Los Angeles. I used to go to Los Angeles um, multiple times as a kid. I used to go like to a part of Los Angeles. I'm not going to say where because for safety purposes. And um, it's just a really nice place in general. I haven't been to all those big parts of Los Angeles. I've only been to, I think, like the smaller parts of Los Angeles where they have like Disneyland and... Um, What's it called? Um, Universal Studios. Yeah, so I have been to Los Angeles before, and it's just a really nice city in general. And I love the fact that a fictional city is filmed in a real life city. So I would recommend The Mask to anybody who loves silly cartoon comedy, because this movie has a lot of silly cartoon comedy in it. And I also recommend it to anybody who loves Jim Carrey, because it's got Jim Carrey in it, if you're a fan of Jim Carrey. Mary, and also I would recommend it to anybody who just loves comedy because this is such a fun comedy movie um, and it's just really great in general and it's just a really, really fun um, kind of like humorous and adventure film and it's just really good. So if you love Jim Carrey, then I highly recommend you guys check out The Mask. Okay, so that was my review on The Mask. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Wow, that went a lot quicker than I expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!